Hello there, Pisces. Welcome. Okay, so this is going to be April 2024 reading. Before I begin, I just want you guys to know that if you're having a problem getting notified every time I upload new videos, I do upload three to six every single day. I skip a day here and there when I just get burnt out, but mostly it's three to six a day. So every day. I work seven days a week on my channel. So if you're not getting notified, a lot of people are telling me they are not, and they, they did subscribe, they did have, hit the notification bell, and they used to get notified, now they're not. So if you are not, just um, in the community to post, I put um, I wrote a post about it, and I just required your um, handle number. So your handle number is when you leave a comment, is what you go by, your name on that. So it'll be at, and whatever your name is, you know, that you have there, it could be, um, say your name is uh, Lucy Lou. It could be Lucy Lou one two three, or it could be um, the number that YouTube gave you. If you never actually personalize it, it could be. Then it would start with user and a bunch of letters and numbers mixed up. And if you don't know your handle, just shoot a comment to me, something that you would know, you know, a number of uh, whatever, and then look for it after you send it. And then right above that will be at and whatever your username is, and that's your handle. Okay, guys. If you send that to me, then I'm going to send that on to YouTube in a few days and have them um, hopefully help you guys get back to get notifications. Okay, let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, so what's coming through the front door for you? We have here, this is justice. Okay, justice is coming through the front door. This could be a contract too. So um, that's what's about to enter your life. Some kind of contract, justice, something's coming in. I like it. Libra energy. Okay, let's see. And we have the King of Wands is coming in. Ooh. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone's coming in and making you an offer. And it's going to be fair, just. Or they might be trying to make things right with you. They might be trying to straighten things out with you. Okay, we have here. Ooh, this person is thinking about love. We have two open hearts entwined here. So... They're coming in with some passion, some love. Let's see what else we get here. And we have a great fortune. Ooh. Okay, this might be a very lucky time for you. So I would say this person come in. Don't don't close the door on them. They might be connected to some kind of great fortune with you. I mean, maybe this is someone that has a lot of feelings for you. And when you guys get together, it's meant to be. And this might mean that maybe, you know, this comes in with a lot of fortune too. Wow, let's get the words on it. Yeah, do not close the door on the King of Wands. <laughs> okay, we have expect the end, realize, mature. Okay, so in the end, expect that some, you know, it's weird. Because the last reading I did was Cancer, I think it was, that um, they had a King of Wands that might have been immature, and now they matured. So this person might become back, someone from your past maybe, or someone you know, this could be a... You know, someone coming in and they have matured. They have realized something. Um, yeah, they came to a realization. They're coming in to speak to you about it. I like it. Okay, so now let's go to the kitchen. See what's cooking in your kitchen. So we have here. This is the A of C. So... With the A to C, someone's walking away from something. Something that they're cooking, something they're, they're trying to plan, maybe. Someone's deciding to give up on something. Hmm. Walking away. It's not, there's no satisfaction here in this kitchen. Something's not cooking right. <laughs> okay, let's see. So we have, ooh, the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. Someone might feel destined to move on from something. Something maybe they're already working on, but they might say, no, it's not working. It's time to move. Time to follow your destiny. We have here the pathway, but you will be at a crossroads here. You're going to have to decide which way to go here. So, yeah, someone's probably thinking about something here. Now let's go to the living room. What are you currently living with? Let's see. We have here. This is the two of C. Oh, no, ten of C, sorry. So this would be ten of cups. So you have a very happy home family life here. So that's good. You're currently living in a happy situation. So let's see what else we get. And we have here the fool, but you might be starting something new. 
it might be a brand new beginning that you're happy about or this could be something that you are going to reach out and do something new taking taking a chance here aries aquarius energy and we have here the marriage card wow is someone getting married maybe you have the wedding in the living room but yeah someone is it looks like someone's getting married a new beginning and a happy family happy home i like it okay so now we're going to go over to the office, the work and career. What are you working on? So let's see what's in your office. We have here the three of sky. So this will be like the three of swords. There's a dilemma here. You have three dogs that are at diff different points of this river. It's like a, a rapid river or something and they don't know how to come together. They're at different sides. So this also could be saying that maybe it's some kind of you're at a standoff with someone too. Maybe you're um, something to do with work, career. There's like different opinions, different. They're opposing each other, or there's something about people are not coming, coming together on something here. Okay, let's see. We have here the world. Yes, yeah, something's ending for something new to begin. So you might be ending a, something at work and starting something new, saying, you know what, this is not working. I'm moving on to something different so i think you've got a lot of changes coming in here okay the world endings new beginnings we have there's a gift and there is a gift here as far as your work your career something's coming in that you're going to be receive a gift so this new job this new business whatever you're doing it will bring a gift to you boy now let's go to the bedroom so what's happening in your bedroom romantic life let's see we have here we have the eight of fire. Ooh, something is heating up the bedroom. A lot of passion, a lot of communication, a lot of movement, a lot of action. Okay, <laughs> we have action. Ben. Well, if you got just got married or you're getting married, I, I'm sure there is a lot of action. Let's see. We have here the lovers. It's in the bedroom. Nice. Gemini energy. So, yeah, so there's passion and fire in your bedroom. Good for you. Okay, let's see. See what else we have going on here we have with the wealthy man here okay so either you're the wealthy man or you're with a wealthy man but you got a lot of passion desire in there's yeah things are going your way this looks good okay so now moving right along here it's actually moving very quickly here so let's look, go to the spare bedroom so other things to address let's see what we have here we have the fire alpha male which would be the king of wands showing back up might be a fireman or a fire person i should say because this could be male or female so in the spare room we have do you have you're hiring a fireman <laughs> in your spare room okay so there's something here this is leadership this is someone charming this is could be your energy saying coming across to getting a lot of attention very charming in charge a good leader okay let's see this might be some kind of side thing you you might be working on. Oh, Seven of Pentacles. Assessing, reassessing, maybe paying attention to something here or whether or not you should pay attention to something. Let me get the charm on the, the court card here. We have, oh, Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing for that. Okay. Now let me get another one. for. So this is like you're reevaluating something maybe to do with maybe a leadership role or something happening here with a... A fire sign we have unexpected income okay you know i feel like more of a leadership so you might be contemplating something i think there's another job or something you can make on make some money on the side or something or this person is coming in this king of wands with an opportunity for you so um again when this person shows up the front door listen to them they're they're um there might be some money coming in with this this might be an opportunity for you to make some money okay let me get the words on this we have here career okay tower and okay so now this with this being the spare bedroom maybe this will be another office or another that you set up something else or there's something here that brings you money something some kind of side gig so this is unexpected opportunity here with the tower Something surprising might really take off and might be very lucrative. We got the money here. Let's see. Let me clarify this. And we have Ooh, hidden secrets. So there's some money that is is gonna be coming out with whatever you're doing here. So 
some hidden secret money. Maybe someone has some money to help you out. And it's like, okay, if you want to do this on the side here, you know, as long as it's legit, you'll be good, right? Okay, let's see about the possible outcome. We're going to do possible outcome. And right here, we're going to do what's, what's, um, what's hidden in the attic. But I want to do the possible outcome first, and then we'll go to what's hidden. Let's see here. We have the high priestess. Ooh. Now, the high priestess is secrets. It's intuition. It could be your intuition's on fire here. Virgo Cancer Energy, but I would say this is your energy. Let's see what else we get for this. And we have Six of Wands. You could be getting recognized for your for your gifts, your intuition here. This is like you're getting noticed. And this could be your side gig. Maybe that's what you're doing on the side. You're uh, Maybe you're doing readings. And it's been very lucrative for you. And it might be something with a hidden secret. You might be just stashing it away for, for a rainy day. I don't know. Um, let's see. But you are getting recognized and you're, and you're doing well. And we have here occupation. Yeah, so you are getting recognized for some kind of occupation here. This is a possible outcome. This thing that you're doing on the side or something. Or even in, this could also refer to whatever you do for a living. Is that you're getting noticed. And you might feel this. And you might be doing, you might be keeping it to yourself too. With the um, high priestess. Just because, you know, you don't want anything putting the kibosh on it. So you're keeping it quiet. Now let's go to the attic and see what's hidden. What is hidden in your attic? Let's see. We have here, we have a little sea puppy. So this could be someone's hiding their emotions for you. This could be someone wanting to offer their cup of love. And also could be apology maybe. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces could be any sign. But someone's not coming forward. They're hiding it. Okay, we have here, oh, an airplane. They could be at a distance. They could be coming to see you with the airplane. But it could be quite a way, a way that they have to travel by, by air. Now we have what you don't see coming is the chariot. Something's coming very quick. Cancer energy. This could also be a vehicle, or this person could be coming in very quickly. Okay, let's see. We have here the star. Wow, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams come true. This is like following your star. This is a connect. I also feel a very strong connection with this card to um, your intuition. It's like you're really connected to something here. Okay, also, and Aquarius energy, and also what you don't see coming is there might be some kind of conflict here, the Five of Swords. This could be someone spreading gossip, or this could be, you might be hearing things that aren't true, or someone could be telling someone something, and someone could be getting a headache from someone trying to persuade them. And it, it's like, you can't trust whoever these people are that are talking. It might be up to five people. So be aware of that. There's like something going on here. And they might be jealous of what you're able to accomplish. Let's see. Okay, no clarifier here. We have here, oh, adjudication. So you might be going to court for something or getting something. Um, I mean, this could be anything. This could be a divorce. This could be marriage. This could be um, some kind of lawsuit. It could be anything. Justice being served, maybe. Or you have to deal with some kind of matter here. Okay, on the bottom we have expectation. So someone's expecting something. Might be expecting someone to come in or expecting something to happen here. Okay, let me put the words on here. I got to stay in here. Oh, the high priestess. I was thinking I had a court card, but I don't. Okay, so we have here thinking, committed, the X. So, yeah, this person might be wanting to come back towards you, maybe making something official here, wanting to get married, but you seem like you got marriage over here. So maybe the person finds out you're engaged or something and they're coming in and trying to win you back. Yeah, you might be having, once you get this new person or whoever this person is, unless you're already married, I don't know. There's a lot going on for you guys. So take the parts that resonate, leave the parts that don't. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. What are the signs here for Pisces? Okay, so we're going to do, this could be placement, your chart, placement, other future, chart, past, present, and future. We have here... You know what? Before I do this, let me get a little more. Why do we have the adjudication here with this page of cups? And what was the other one? 
Oh, the star. Yeah, the star. Something makes you happy here, but I want to get more on this because the adjudication is throwing me a little bit. Let's see. We have here the four of pentacles. Someone might be hanging on or keeping something quiet. And we have the world ending for new beginnings. Something could be coming back around for sure. And we have the ten of pentacles. Okay, maybe you're making something official. So this could also be... Um, you know, a commitment, but it also could be a lot of money coming towards you. Any newbie, I feel like you do have a lot of money coming in. And we have the star. Whatever this is, it's going to make you happy. Something you've been waiting for is making you really happy. Hopes and wishes, dreams come true here. The star, Aquarius energy. Okay, so I think things are falling in place for you. Let's see. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. Placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart. Past, present, and future. We have here Taurus. And Taurus, wow. Cancer. Aquarius. Virgo. And the bottom we have Aries. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement other people's chart, past, present, and future. Taurus, Taurus, Cancer, Aquarius, Virgo, and Aries. Okay, guys, so... If this did not resonate with you, then if you checked out your sun, then check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, something might resonate with you more. It might give you that missing piece, that missing link, the part of the puzzle that makes everything click together for you guys. Um, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.